Hey, my beautiful creative friends. Today we are going to paint six different kinds of leaves that you can use in your watercolor paintings. These are the leaves that I love painting most often. And guess what? I'm just gonna use one brush and it's the half inch flat brush. So if this, if this sounds intriguing to you, let's dive in straight away into the video. Alrighty, so this is the paper I'll be using today. It is a 100% cotton Fabri Anno artistico traditional white paper. I know, I know this is a bit of an indulgence, but I really wanted a big space to show you the six different kinds of leaves. And um, I have this, I have bought this and I won't see it as wasting paper because I will be having a lot of um, fun painting them and it will be worth it, all right? So I'm gonna use just my half inch flat brush today. Now this, you can also use a round brush or whatever brush that you have because um, I'm just gonna be showing you different leaf shapes, but because this is my favorite brush at the moment and I do use this a lot for a lot of the paintings, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. So I encourage you to get out of your comfort zone to try something different. Okay, so to uh, demonstrate my first leaf, I'm gonna grab some burnt umber for the stem and I'm gonna create a rose kind of leaf. So the leaves that I use for a lot of the roses and so first, I'm just going to create a very curvy, woody stem that you often see on roses. And I'm just going to pull out a couple of these side branches so that I can show you how the leaves hang off them. So I painted so many, so many roses um, in my life. Well, you know, ever since I started painting. And so this um, leaves, I'm going to show you, is based on observation of all the reference photos I've seen, all the beautiful rose, vintage rose paintings that I love painting so much. And I have a couple of rose painting videos, uh, vintage roses in particular, if you're interested, I will link one here in the top right hand corner. In fact, I'll link for you the whole tutorial, uh, the whole playlist of roses or that you can Go and watch after this one. So I'm just going to grab a pool of sap green that I've created. And just to make things fun, I'm also going to grab some green gold. And I have an olive green here as well. So just use all the different greens you have and also have standby in standby like a dark blue. Okay, because that will really um, add a bit of uh, drama and, and shading to your leaves and also uh, grab more earth, burnt umber and even a little dragon's blood or whatever reddish color you like okay so this will create some depth and dimension and interest to all the leaves that we'll be painting today so let me say that again sap green olive green or a green gold uh, a prussian blue or indigo and then some burnt umber or dragon's blood all right let's let's get right straight away into that first rose so my rose leaf, I'm gonna start with the one at the end here, starting with the corner of my brush, the real nice square corner, touching the branch and then just pulling down that left side of the rose. And I could just continue going on the other side, but I wanna grab a bit of that darker blue and use that for the other side of this rose. And there you have it, this first, gorgeous rose uh, leaf that you know have a bit of brown a bit of green a bit of blue let's go and straight away do the other two there's one going to be on this side one on this side and maybe a little lighter this one so just wiping off all the pigment and just using water and don't be afraid to touch the other side okay don't be afraid to touch so touching is very much encouraged in loose florals. And don't be afraid to just play around with the angle of the brush to get that fat, that fatness in the middle and then the pointiness at the end. 
And then while I'm here, I want to drop in maybe a bit of uh, dragon's blood into the side of this rose, maybe in the corner here, because it's always really nice to create depth and character for each rose, isn't it? Isn't that gorgeous? All right, let's move on to this branch. So I'm just going to try that again, just to show you how that works. And you notice that our rose leaves have always come in this kind of format. All right, so it's one in the middle and then two on the side. And then the longer the branch, you have more coming on the side. And most of the leaves are of pretty much the same size. So you can have this leaf going across the stem like this. Don't be afraid to do that. Don't be afraid to really lighten up that value and create a lighter leaf. Okay, and I like to work quite quickly, so I apologize if some of you are saying that my videos are too fast, I paint too quickly. There is a slower speed that you can choose on YouTube, a slower playback speed, but I'm also told that it sounds like I'm very sleepy in a slow speed. So see how you go. I like to pause my videos, like when I'm doing an online tutorial, I like to just press pause if I feel like I need to catch up. And uh, that way, I don't get a sleepy teacher. At the same time, I go according to my speed. All right, so one more here. And then maybe a really dark one at the back here. And just make it like just slightly thin. There we go. <sighs> and then maybe grabbing just a bit of that redness or burnt umber and just dropping that into some of the leaves there. Oh no, I made a mess on this side of my paper. I do that sometimes, just wipe it away, dab, dab, dab. Okay, so that's the first leaf shape I'm gonna show you and I'm so happy with how it looks like now, seriously. I just love it when paint is still wet, isn't it? And it's glistening and it's glowing. So I'm just gonna leave this and you can just imagine the rose at the top here. I will not paint any flowers in this tutorial because I want the leaves to be the hero. The next leaf I wanna show you is something that you might find on an iris or a lily. And let's gonna just grab your fat brush and really load it up with lots of pigment. Choose any green you like for the first one. Maybe I'm going with a darker one. So lots of blue, the dark blue mixing up with my green. And this leaf is gonna be fat at the bottom and then it just curls and it gets a bit slightly thinner towards the, the top. So from the bottom here, using the flat side of my brush, gonna press and pull up a nice beautiful curvy leaf and then maybe just thin, make that, make that thin turn twist and then just flick, a little flick at the end. I love that. And then I'm just gonna grab a green gold one. Okay, so just give it a bit of variation and maybe dropping even some uh, quin gold, all right? To just pull up another one on this side. And you see, notice there's a bit of a dry brush effect, which can be kind of cute if you like it. If not, you can just go over. I'm loving that. So you feel, you're seeing that fatness and it gets thinner towards the end. And you might not even need to do that. Sometimes you just can do this one. So I'm gonna show you where just from the middle, just pull up straight. And you can even use the side of the brush, like the thin side, to create uh, a similar leaf from the bottom, but just going thinner and just finding your way around that one more. Just one more. And you can imagine the lily or iris right at the top here, and these leaves are just going around. And I'm just gonna leave it at that, and I'm really, really happy with how that looks, okay? So the next one I'm gonna show you, and this is, I use this really a lot, and it's the easiest one. And I'm gonna show you a couple ways uh, to see how, show you how it hangs on, on a stalk or something. So let's just create um, a simple stalk there. 
Okay, and can you imagine there's flowers sticking out on the side. And then from the bottom, we're going to create bigger leaves. Okay, so this leaf is going to come from out going into the stem. So using the corner of this a flat brush, you're going to press and just lift and you get that first leaf there. So I'm just going to show you the other one. That's it. That's really it, okay? So you can keep going up the stem. You can touch and just make different angles. You know, some pointing a bit more further in. Oh, sorry. So right there, I just went from into out and you notice how that creates a different leaf again. So I'm just gonna just change it back and just remember, Crystal, come on. I'm doing a tutorial here. Get serious. And what I like about this leaf is how it's fat at the top and skinny at the bottom so there are just some beautiful uh, flowers that have this kind of um, way so mixing up the different uh, hues maybe getting some a little bit darker okay it's all looking a bit sameish at the moment different greens different sizes different directions and then maybe washing some of all that pigment off to create some really light one. Okay, that, that's quite light. So, and just working your way up to the end and making it smaller and smaller. There we have a beautiful sprig, which if you do this in a smaller, smaller version, it looks, imagine if you zoom this in, it could be like a rosemary leaf even, all right? So this is a really wonderful shape that you can use. I'm gonna show you this same leaf in a different application. So, so just pressing and then maybe just like creating like a, a fan shaped one here, right? So, and then maybe just pulling out a little stem with the burnt umber. And you can make it go really, really small and really ditzy, very cute. And you can imagine just placing these tiny, tiny leaves at the, at the edge of your flower. If you'd follow my tutorials, um, you, would, you would see this leaf appear quite often, in my loose florals especially. I just do a dab here, a dab there, just pressing your brush down to create that effect. How's that? All right, let's move on to the fourth kind of leaf that I wanna show you. And this is something you might find like in a daisy and some peonies. So let's begin with just same, coming up with a thin stem, just a thin stem here, and then maybe one coming up this way. All right. So this is a very fun like kind of leaf. So I'm going to just grab whatever green that you have from the base. Just gonna wriggle my brush. from the middle, just wriggling it to the sides and using just the thin edge of the brush. And just making it go smaller and smaller as you reach the top. And you can vary the hue, vary the value, as I always encourage you to, until you get it thinner and shorter towards the end. Cool, right? All right, I did do one more other stem here, so I'm just gonna show you how it can work. On the other side, I, I think I've done a, a vintage peony with a similar leaf like this, and I really like how the, it has this very realistic effect, doesn't it? It's very fun. So it's a ferny kind of daisy leaf. Awesome, awesome. All right, the next one I want to show you is something that you might find on like a hydrangea type flower. I've definitely um, painted this on hydrangeas before. So I'm going to paint a stem, just a little stem and it's similar to the rose leaf, okay? I'm gonna say it's similar, so just, just um, 
follow me as I just mix up some greens. I'm gonna get some nice blue one here. And it's similar to this in the sense that it's big and broad, but we're just gonna drag it a little bit more to get a, a, a nice sort of like curly, whirly, longish shape. So just wriggling my brush and getting to the end of that like this. A bit of dry brush effect on the right, I don't mind it, it's kind of cute. And then maybe onto the other side, corner of the brush, wriggling it. Maybe washing off some pigment, just water onto the other side. Touching a bit of that stem there. And then the next one here, just a real dark one. Bum, bum, ba, ba, bum. Oh, how satisfying is that? Like, I don't know, I just love this leaf shape because it is just so organic and it just is perfect. Watercolor is just the perfect medium for this sort of leaf. Okay, I messed around with that one a bit much, but it's fine. It's fine. And maybe just a really light one here. Really light, almost water, just water. Just to show you the, the contrast you can get. Okay, I'm just gonna soften that up a bit. And don't forget, you can always lift color, okay? So I'm gonna dry my brush till it's really dry and I'm just gonna lift a bit of the dark pigment off this side to create a bit of highlight. Right? There we go. I like that. So it's more of a hydrangea type leaf. Okay, so the last leaf I want to show you here is uh, a eucalyptus leaf, which is like oh so trendy, oh so trendy. So I'm going to mix some burnt umber into the Prussian blue and my sap green to create a nice smoky green. All right, so this eucalyptus leaf is going to be very simple. So what I also um, create quite often in my loose floral. So maybe I just do two sprigs. So using the side of my brush, and it's going to, I'm going to get this rounded tip very similar to the one up here, except that I'm just going to work it in a stack like this. Okay, and then making it smaller and smaller, thinner and thinner as you reach the top. Okay, let's try that again. Let's do another one here. Maybe slightly fatter this time. And then maybe grabbing a bit of a blue, because sometimes there's a bit of a brownish blue hue to these eucalyptus. There we go. Oh, so cute. All right, it needs a stem, obviously. And for this stem, I'm going to swap brushes. Okay, I am because I want to get a nice, really thin stem. Uh, burnt umber. And then just connecting the beautiful leaves down. Touching each leaf as you go. And this is a beautiful way to have like a filler type leaf in your bouquet. And I think that's it. I'm going to leave it as one layer. I'm so happy with the six leaves. You have no idea how many times I have filmed this tutorial and I've had so many hiccups and issues with it. And I think this is it. This is the one that's going to make it. All right. My six different leaves you can paint using a flat brush. And that's it. That's the six different kinds of leaves. I hope you learned something. I hope it inspired you to uh, play around with your flat brush and go crazy and to create these beautiful leaves. Yeah, if you really like the way that um, I approach loose florals, I do have a free PDF download that you can get straight away as long as you just sign up to my mailing list. I put the link in the description below. Um, it's my little mini ebook that I call Nine Secrets to Loose Floral. You might enjoy reading it, so just go grab it. Otherwise, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.